dying on time. Let's go. i got to go quickly. I'm hurting on time. Let's go. I'm going to skip and kind of go rather quickly. Go with me to the book of uh, John chapter 4. John chapter 4. When you get there, say amen. All right. <laughs> We're going quick. Hurry. Time is running. John chapter 4. How many are ready for a word? Yeah. All right, John chapter 4. I'm going to probably just read. I have a bunch to read, but I'm going to read one that I believe will we'll get to you. Uh, dun, dun, dun. John chapter 4. Uh, John chapter 4 verse 11 says this. And then the woman said to him, Sir, uh, talking about the woman at the well. How many are familiar with the thing of the woman at the well? It's Wednesday night. I think we should be all right. Uh, the woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do I get that living water? Somebody say amen to that. Amen. I was really going to just read a couple, but i got to read this other one too. Uh, verse 23, but the hour is coming and now is when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. Can you say amen to that? Amen. Uh, verse 28, and then the, the woman then left her water pots, went her way into the city and said to the man, she left her water pots. That's kind of big right there. I, I, I want to talk to you just from, I got one word, just one word I want to talk to you and I want to walk with you. I, I want you to walk with me a little bit. One word. I want to preach to you tonight from the word release. Somebody shout release. Release. Now oh, you can do better than that. Somebody shout release. Release. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your many blessings. God, we thank you for this wonderful house and we thank you for the man and woman of God of this house. God, continue to bless in Jesus' name we pray and everybody said Amen. Look, walk with me a little bit. So I, I kind of talked about with Bishop encouraging me and strengthening me and being my Ezekiel. And so I, I kind of went through uh, this season in my life. And this season was that I was praying about some things and really needing God to do some things and was not seeing the manifestation of some stuff. Has anybody ever prayed about some stuff and, and, and had, maybe you're here tonight been praying about some stuff and hadn't seen the manifestation about it. And, and one of the things that, that I love about Bishop, because I, I begin to share with some other friends and, and the first thing they do, you know, I, I, I'm not down with like the, oh, I got to be careful. Um, and so I share with some other friends and, you know, and they're, they're sharing the, the scriptures, you know, and they're, they're and I'm like, I know the scriptures. I preach, I'm preaching from these scriptures. I understand these scriptures. That's not what I'm looking for. I understand that, that, that his ear is not too heavy, that, that he cannot hear. I understand his hand's not too short, that he cannot save. I understand where two or more uh, agree in asking anything in his name it shall be. I understand that no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. I understand that I can do all things through Christ who strength. I understand that, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the death, I shall fear no evil. I understand all the scriptures, but... But I, I was I was almost like having this wrestling experience with God because I needed God uh, to manifest some things. I needed God to understand it, and so I was walking through this season, and 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 I begin to realize, and maybe you understand this, and, and you can lift your hand there if you're there. But I, I was realizing that there was some stuff being held up in my life. Oh, my there was some stuff being held up. And you said, what do you mean by stuff being held up? Uh, have you ever prayed uh, for an answer? Or maybe, let me go this way. Maybe, has anybody ever had an answer held up? And, and, or or, or maybe, maybe, maybe you have a healing that's being held up. Or, or maybe a miracle. Or maybe a breakthrough. Or, or, or maybe a turnaround. Or maybe a dream. Or maybe a job. Or maybe provision. Or maybe direction. Can, can we go a little bit into this real quickly? So, so, so as I'm walking through this and, and I'm kind of, you know, kind of almost like with, with Mary and Martha, you know, had, had called on Jesus. He didn't show up. And, and now she's like, if you would have been here, a brother, and, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting upset. I mean, I'm getting upset. Of, God, I'm preaching for you. I'm declaring for you. I'm ministering for you. People are getting saved. All I'm asking is for you just to help me with this one thing that I'm needing right now. And there's no answer. And so I, I begin to, uh, God begin to walk me through the, uh, the Bible and, and he takes me to Daniel. Daniel is a great man of prayer. Daniel is a great man of integrity. Daniel, uh, when Daniel prayed, things begin to happen. Daniel would pray, boom, things happen. 
I mean, Daniel just, when he prayed, things begin to happen. And one day, Daniel almost walks through the same thing that I'm walking through. Daniel, normally when he prays, something happens. But this time when Daniel prayed, nothing happened. All of a sudden, the, the next day, Daniel thought, oh, you know, maybe I didn't eat my Wheaties this morning. Daniel starts praying, nothing happens. Third day rolls by, prays, nothing happens. Fourth day, nothing. Fifth, nothing. Now you can almost see that Daniel somewhat getting bent out of shape a little bit. Because I know how I was. And so as he's getting bent out of shape, all of a sudden, I think it was on the, the 21st day, I think it was on 21 days, all of a sudden an angel shows up and says, I heard you on the first day. I heard you on the first day, but the king of Persia held me up. I said, I heard all. Oh, now we're going to talk about you. So well, who's the king of Persia? And we talked about it earlier that there are spirits that hang over territory. There are spirits that hang over areas. Well, I don't believe in that. We'll go talk to Legion. Legion had many devils. And when those devils were getting ready to come out, they said, whatever you do, don't send us out of the region. So it lets us know that the spirits hung over the area. So now the king said, I heard you on the first day, but the king of Persia held me up. And God began to show me that you need to redirect your anger. Because I was upset with God, but I was upset with the wrong person. Because God began to show me that there is some stuff that the enemy will hold up in your life. Because he knows that if that thing gets released to you, you will destroy him. So he's going to do everything in his power to keep it from getting to you because he doesn't want to be destroyed. Can we go a little bit deeper for the sake of time? Oh, Jesus tells them, he says, whatever you bind on earth, help me on Wednesday night. Whatever you bind on earth shall be what? Bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be what? Shall be loosed in heaven. If you look up that word loose means to untie. So it declares to me even Christ himself beforehand was letting them know that you have the power and the ability to change things down here that are being held. That are being held up there. The loosen means to untie. Why would he say such a thing? Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven means I have the ability to undo some things that are up there. See, some of you have been praying about some things and, and, and have been declaring it and you have gotten discouraged and you have gotten upset and you have gotten weak. But I'm here to let you know the devil should have never let you in here tonight. And the cold could not keep you out even though people are like, you going to go out in that cold weather? And so I'm like, God, I don't understand this. 
so all of a sudden he's he's talking about Daniel and I said, oh, you know, and he's showing me this and about a release. And I said, well, how, how am I how getting this? And all of a sudden he takes me to the woman at the well. And the scripture that we read, he, he Jesus approaches and goes there. And i got to talk rather quickly for the sake of time because I don't want to keep you here on that. And so he she goes, you have nothing to draw with in this well is deep. She poses a question to Jesus. She says, you, the, the well. You have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. How are you going to get this water? Jesus starts talking about, well, you have five husbands. We didn't read that part. Read it when you get home. You have five husbands. I got a family member. Just want to throw this in here. I got a family member that's been married ten times. So watch it now. So, uh, and so she, I did, I did. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I hope this is not live streaming because I'm going to be in trouble. And so... He starts talking about a husband. And so then all of a sudden through that, because he asked her a question and he has not answered the question. She said, how are you going to get this water? The well is deep. And all of a sudden, he, Jesus starts, now is the hour that true worshipers must worship in spirit and truth. It's almost like, and I don't know if you, anybody can relate to this. It's like having a conversation with my wife. My, no, watch. I mean, serious. My, my, and she'll be the first one to admit it. My wife and I can be sitting there, and we're talking about the kids going to school and who's picking up the kids at school. And we can be having this conversation and say, "Oh, you know what? Uh, you know, I got this to do, and I got that." And we can have a conversation, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you know, she'll be like, "Oh, suntan lotion." <laughs> yeah, suntan lotion. And I'll, huh? What? She said, "Yeah, sun." The kids need sun? Huh? It's, no, no, I'm talking about vacation. Whoa, 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 come back, honey. Where are you going? Huh? We were talking about the boys. Where, where are you talking about vacation? It's sun lotion. I was just thinking about this. The, the, you know what I'm thinking about? The, no, no, no. Who was picking the kids up? Come back, honey. I guess nobody knows what I'm talking about. Help me, brother, in here. So, it's almost like that. Here, she's asking the question, how are we going to get this water? And the well is deep, and, you know, it starts dealing, and then all of a sudden, he, you know, he starts busting out. Now is the time for worshipers that will worship in spirit and truth. And, and it kind of almost seems like he's going a, a, a different direction. But, but he answers the question without really answering the question. Right? How are you going to get this water? The well is deep. How are you going to get this water? Can I talk to somebody here? And all of a sudden, he answered the question without answering the question. And then all of a sudden, it hits her because now she figures it out. Because I read a little bit further down there. It says that she left her water pot. Ooh, she left her water pot. She went up there. That was her job. That was her thing to go up there. And now she left her water pot. She left the thing that will pacify to go after the one that will satisfy. Come on. She left the thing that will pacify the water pot and she ran after the one who will satisfy. She realized this water that I get comes through my worship. That when I begin to worship my Lord, we might go to fourth level here. When I worship him, when I start glorifying him, she realized this water that I, I'm going to get somewhere. Just stick with me. So the water that I get comes through this worship. So, so she leaves the thing that will pacify to go after the one that will satisfy. Let me help. Oh, I'm going to see my ladies. Let me help. Oh, that's my little Beyonce little plug right there. Uh, for all my single ladies in here that think, man, if I can just get a man, everything's going to be great. If I, oh, I tell you, if I could just, if I could just find him, everything will be wonderful. Listen, you don't, you don't need a man, you need a worship. Because when you get a worship, oh, oh I'm not going to skip over on this though. Uh, she left her water pot. Listen, uh, you don't need a water pot, you need a worship. You don't need a man, you need a worship. You, you don't need a smoke, you need a worship. You don't need a fix, you need a worship. You don't need a hit, you need a worship. You don't need a drink, you need a worship. You don't When we start magnifying, there's a water. Watch, I'm going to help somebody. There's a water that begins to flow. That's why she didn't need her 
water pot no more. And she said, I got some water now. I know how to get some water. I know how to get some water. I'm in some real water. Watch, 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 watch. So he said, well, how's this got to do with the release? This ain't making sense. God does. Watch. I'm, I'm just walk, walk with me. This is a conversation. We're still, now I'm in my car. We're still having this conversation with God. So I'm like, God, oh, what are you talking about? What, what is going on? He said, we're at the worship. I said, I know. I'm a worshiper. And when you're going through those rough seasons, it's a little hard to worship. Come on, don't fake on me now. It's hard to worship, right? And so I said, God, I'm still needing a release in my life. He says, you're not catching it. I said, but help me. He said, all right. He said, go to Exodus chapter 14. You don't have to turn there. I said, okay, what's that got to do with? He said, Pharaoh. I said, what's Pharaoh got to do with? Pharaoh is a type of the enemy. Pharaoh held up the children of Israel. Correct? He held up the children of Israel. How did Pharaoh die? Somebody's scared. Correct? Somewhat. How did Pharaoh die? Pharaoh was trying to hold on. He was still chasing them. Would not release them until Pharaoh ended up drowning. He drowned in the water. When you start worshiping, Jesus said the woman at the well, it's like water that begins to flow up out of here. Pharaoh was holding up the children of Israel, but it wasn't until that he drowned in the water, they were able to be released. Let me walk down, let me walk, let me, let, come on, come on, Pharaoh. Oh, let me just jump, just jump. Some of you have some stuff and you raise your hand and say, God, I really need some things to be released in my life. And the best way that I can tell you that things were released in my life is when you begin to worship. When you begin to worship and you begin to magnify, there causes a release in your life. The things that have been held up, like uh, Pharaoh had the... Uh, let, me, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. So, 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 so I learned... I learned two types, two types of, two types of worship. Number one, and I'm out of your hair. I, I had like three, but I got this one. I got this one. Number one is a revolution worship. A revolution. You say, what, what, what do you mean a revolution? This is something that I had to walk through to go through. So, so, uh, what you're needing is, is that I had to walk through and go through is a paradigm shift. Anybody familiar with a paradigm shift? A paradigm shift, and here's the definition of a paradigm shift. The paradigm shift is this. It is the changing of your thinking and belief system of a condition previously thought impossible. I'll read it again. A paradigm shift is the change of your thinking and belief system of a condition previously thought impossible. Webster puts it this way. They say it's a revolution of your thinking. It's a revolution of your thinking. Can I go a little bit? And what time do I? Oh, I got a few minutes. It's a revolution of your thinking. How many are familiar with Kirk Franklin? Kirk Franklin come out with the song that was entitled, Do You Want a Revolution? Thank you. No, thank you. Carl Franklin come out with a song that was entitled, Do You Want a Revolution? Thank you, Pastor God. When, 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 you, when you shout, whoop, whoop, somebody shout, whoop, whoop. When you shout, when you shout, whoop, whoop, you're letting all the people know. You're letting all the haters know. You're letting all your enemies know. You're letting all the people know. has changed. My demeanor has changed. My talk has changed. My worship has changed. Do I got anybody in here? I, as, I think it's Patty LaBelle uh, sang the song, I got a new attitude, y'all. And, and, and so, all of a sudden, when, I, when I'm shouting, whoop, whoop, let, no, let me put it this way. Let me, let me put it this way. Those of you that don't, don't argue with 
with your ex no more. Amen. Just next time when he starts running the mouth, just say, whoo, whoo. <laughs> when you go to work and they're tripping and flipping on you, oh, I don't know what you girls are doing. Just go in the work and just go, whoo, whoo. <laughs> Let them know that there has been a revolution worship. And when I shout, whoo, whoo, it's letting me, oh, let me, let me, let me, let me go. Well, where's the drummer? Where's my drummer? Well, come on. Busted that when you busted that little thing. Yeah, well, come close. 